Hello, Macy here. Um, I've been playing with these new maneuver nodes that are new to 0.18, and they're a bit tricky to use. I'll share with you what I've worked out so far. If you click on the ship and select Add Maneuver, you'll see these nodes come up and color coded. Now, the first one is your speed, prograde or retrograde, forwards or backwards. If I was to accelerate by this said amount, then this is a prediction of what would happen if I was to do that, how that would affect my orbit. Now this blue one would be boosting away from curbing or towards depending which one you use. So I guess it's your lateral movement. So you can see how that's affecting it would bring your orbit round to meet a target or away from a target. And um, these purple ones is your plane shift which would change your orbit up or down towards or away from the poles um, that I can tell you now will be very expensive in fuel so these obviously are not necessarily very efficient things to do so once you've decided on your maneuver you you can pull up the nav ball and you can see this particular place in which you need to pull off that maneuver but um, We'll come back to that in a minute. I wanted to quickly show you one more thing you can do with these nav points, but this does get quite complicated and I'm not sure you know about its practical use so far. You find a point on the orbit and then click on it, then you can add another maneuver from that point. So once he gets round that entire circuit to this particular point, we can then plan another course change and then we could essentially choose another point and then another course change and then so on but like I said I would strongly advise doing one maneuver seeing where you end up and then plan another maneuver it just seems overly complicated to me so let's try and put all of this to some sort of practical use let's try and get to the moon so I think it helps if you're roughly aligned where you should be. I know that's not too bad. So click on the moon and select it as a target. Now we've got something to work with. So like before, add a maneuver. And let's see if we can get an intercept with the moon. Now, we shouldn't have to touch any of these because I think our plane is not bad already. So all I think we really need to do is to increase our prograde velocity and know that on the other side of our orbit that should go out and intercept the moon and we can see the apoapse rise on the other side so when you get near to a capture you'll see these two points here which indicate where our nearest point to the target is in our orbit so we can see we're getting close and so we need to bring those two points closer together and there's your capture So now we get to what I briefly mentioned earlier. We need to find out at what point we need to make this maneuver to uh, make this capture happen. So here you go, here is our countdown. And this is the amount of speed we need to change on our course to achieve the predicted result. So all we need to do is to get round to this particular point. And there's our countdown, 10 seconds. And if you see the little blue mark on the nav ball, you need to just point right in the middle of that and wait for your countdown. As soon as that countdown comes, you need to burn and exhaust that bar, but make sure you don't overshoot. So I'm burning. I don't want to overshoot because if I do, I'll have to turn it all around and cancel it. And I think it has to happen in this particular time frame to get the prediction you want. So and cut and there we have it there's the capture you can clear the myriad lines and data by just right clicking and cancelling let's go to the moon and see how close we got and I'd say not bad for a computer well I hope this was of some help to you and uh Happy flying, people.